Well, guys, um, so I haven't uploaded in a few days, so I'm just saying that real quick. And, uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a book review for Revenge of the Body Species. No, Invasion. Revenge is yet to come. So, um, before I get into this review, I did get some new Goosebumps stuff. So the first thing is a Goosebumps finger fur. And, uh, it's a single packet. I thought it was really cool. So I book about it. I didn't get to do unboxing for it, and then someone else just got here today. Goosebumps tote bag. 25 years of goosebumps. Ah, oh, smells like goosebumps. But uh, anyways, book review time. So, um, spoilers. So I'll give you a second. So. We're going to start off by talking about, um, the characters. So, let's talk about, first let's actually talk about what happened in the book. So, obviously it is not the main cha character, Jack, with her, his annoying sister, Billy. And, um, Billy always tries to be better than him. Because she wants to be the best. She's like, if Jack said he saw, um, if, you, if Jack saw, said he saw two of something, she would say, or if Jack said he saw one of something, she would say she saw, like, two or three, or a bigger one, or something like that. So, that's basically Billy. Um, then there was his creepy neighbor, Mr. Blushman, which was honestly my second favorite character. My most favorite character was Jack, obviously, since, um... It was, because it's the main character, of course. So, also, um, Mr. Fleshman was really creepy. I liked how his character was developed. He, he was a mysterious character. Um, he didn't have, we didn't know much about him until he snuck, he snuck into his house and then it's revealed that he was, lo and behold, a movie director or a prop designer. But at the end... I'll get to that in a minute, because that's not really what he is. Um, so, the next thing that happened in the book is, of course, they put in an asteroid news alert. So, there's a, a new, well, not an asteroid, but there's a meteor. A meteor shower, something going on. And it hasn't happened yet, it's coming, though. And everyone's making jokes about how it's a, an alien invasion they said it's not on TV so so it's not an alien invasion but wait a minute <laughs> but the rest of the book was about Jack's mostly spying on Mr. Fleshman and then start then he started school then he uh before he started school he then when he snuck into his neighbor's house he accidentally stole something that's when he learned it was a props um, designer I'll get to that in a minute um, he stole a buzzer, and when he pressed the button, he started hearing voices when he was trying to sleep. Um, but actually, it wasn't the buzzer at all. Because he also found an asteroid. Like, it's about the size of, like, this big, all around. It was super heavy, apparently. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't think it actually be that heavy. Like, you couldn't even carry it. I mean, I bet it would be heavy, but... But, the next thing I would like to say... Um, um, I'll say the ending real quick. The ending was interesting. It's, it is a part, it's a, it's a two-parter, so it wasn't the best. It did get a, get a good, get, get a good cliffhanger. We learned that Mr. Fleshman is actually working for the government. And he knows about the body squeezers. And the, the egg, well, the asteroid, lo and behold, is an egg. And it hatches. Or more of a spacecraft. And it releases a body squeezer. And it tries to squeeze him, but instead it squeezes his science teacher. Who had chased him home earlier in the book. And now they run. So. Um. I'm not going to tell you about the second one. I will be doing a book review for that soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. Um, I don't think there's anything I really want to talk about. 
I will give this book um, 9 out of 10. Um, the sequel's already getting better, so we'll say that. It's 9 out of 10 for Body Squeezers Part 1. So, I'll see you guys um, day, today or tomorrow, more likely tomorrow. Um, a few days, so it'll be October on Friday this week. Um, so yeah, that's very interesting. I will be doing Halloween related stuff. Not a video every single day because I won't be able to do that. I'll do a video on the last, when it comes to the last 10 days before Halloween. So on the 21st, that's when it's all going to start. I want to do a video every single day. Talking about 10, then I'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That, I've just been planning that. And also, if you guys want to leave me any Halloween ideas, go onto my collection video. I want you all, my collection video has a balloon on the cover. It's a short, so... And I also want you to leave a comment on there telling me what you want me to do for my Halloween special. I have no clue yet. I have literally no clue what I'm doing. I can't live stream um, with the equipment I use. Um, I have no ideas. Also, I am going out that night. Um, I'm also watching movies, so I can't do a live stream. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please give me ideas for Halloween special. Um, I will have an unboxing video very soon. It is like, it's huge item. About this big. So I'm super excited. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. Um, that, and I have a book coming. I might as just well tell you what it is. It's a United Kingdom copy of Night and Terror Tower. I'll show you what they look like. United Kingdom books have a twist on that, like that. So, yeah, they look a little different than usual. But, that's going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.